Tell us what you know from a person who knows. Uh, so what we know from people who know, I should say, uh, is Look, Brofield are in talks with Forest City about a possible acquisition of the company. Uh, this is a company, Forest City, a real estate company, some commercial, some residential. Slightly difficult asset for anyone to acquire because it's not that pure play real estate that we so often see trading. Um, Brookfield, we believe, were among a number of people who have been looking at this for a while. It sounds like it's down to probably just them at the moment, although obviously potentially someone else could always come into the process. Um, another thing that we have learned in, in our reporting out of this is that the it sounds like the premium that's being offered uh, is not hugely above where Forest City is currently trading. Yeah, I mean, this sounds like an activist situation. That's right. So this company has had an activist in it for a long time, uh, John Litt, the former uh, real estate analyst who now runs his own firm, I think, Land and Buildings. So he's been in the stock for a while, kind of asked them originally just to look at a few different options. Do they sell some assets? Do they split the company into two divisions? Or do they go for a full sale of the company? Um, they resisted for a while, but you know, as often happens and as we often see with activists, eventually they did come round. They have been running this sort of strategic review now for a few months and I think had attracted some interest from buyers. But as I say, one of the issues always with this kind of real estate company is if it has too diverse a portfolio, it's difficult for any one buyer to pick it up. Brookfield is a very natural buyer. They have such an enormous sprawling real estate portfolio that actually they're one of the very few people, probably along with someone like a Blackstone, for whom this kind of asset would make sense. Why does Brookfield need Forest City Ed. Um, they, they, in a way, they don't, Mark. They, um, they're a highly acquisitive company. Brookfield is one of these sort of real, true real estate empires who have built up through doing exactly this kind of acquisition. Um, they go out, they buy, you know, a lot of sort of uh, one to five billion dollar companies. This would obviously be slightly bigger than that. But they, they're, they're not afraid to go and expand, whether it's in, uh, in the mall area, whether it's in more traditional commercial real estate or even residential real estate. They play in all three of those areas. Plus, they're very big in infrastructure. So they're one of these sort of of highly acquisitive companies that goes out and does this kind of thing. So the answer to the question, they don't need this, but it does fit in with their broader strategy of going out and buying sort of high quality real estate assets.